psoriatic arthritis. It's a very important topic for any orthopedic exam. Seronegative spondyloarthropathy affects approximately 10% of patients with psoriasis. If the spine is affected, the HLA-B27 is positive in more than 50% of the time. The clinical presentation in psoriasis in the C-spine could be similar to rheumatoid arthritis, but in general, it is different than enclosing spondylitis. Psoriatic arthritis will have negative rheumatoid factor and negative antinuclear antibody tests. Psoriatic arthritis presents itself with patchy plaques and scales. It can be red or silvery, usually occurs before the arthritis, and usually occurs at the elbow, the knees, usually the extensor surface of the extremity. Always check the elbows. In about 20%, the arthritis usually occurs before the scales, the plaques, and you wonder why the knees of the patient is not getting better, why the swelling is not going away. Let's now talk about the arthritis. It commonly affects the hand, the feet, the spine, and the SI joints. When we talk about the hand, this is very important information for clinical practice and also for the exams. In the hand, you will find dactylitis, sausage digit, pencil and cup deformity, so the DIP is involved, some people believe it is X-length recessive trait. You will also have nail pitting, fragmentation and discoloration, and also oncolysis. Lifting of the nail plate starts distally. You may also get arthritis mutilans. You may get uveitis, Achilles tendinitis, plantar fasciitis. Something similar to Reiter's syndrome. The treatment of the arthritis is usually medical treatment, non steroidal or methotrexate, TNF alpha inhibitors. Sometimes you have to do surgery. There's a high infection rate with surgery. Try to avoid skin incisions through the active psoriasis lesions because there's a high colonization with bacteria. You want to do preoperative treatment of such lesions. Thank you very much. I hope this lecture was helpful to you.